This is a quick video to give people instructions on how to use the new batch mode to easily generate large numbers of lines. This is a new feature which lets you synthesize a very long list of lines automatically rather than having to do each line individually. It should be useful to anyone working on mods with lots of dialogue. It will also make it easy for anyone to regenerate lines with new updates to voices. To begin, click the new icon on the top right of the app. This will bring up a new menu where everything takes place. If you don't already have your lines in a CSV file, you can click the Generate Sample button to get a template with the voices you currently have. The dialogue lines in the sample will contain some further instructions. You can open this file up in Excel or a text editor. It contains all the dialogue lines and other required data. The bare minimum you need for each line is the game ID, the voice ID, and the dialogue text. You can also specify other data, such as which vocoder to use, output path, and the pacing of the dialogue. Other columns may be added in future updates. You can also just use a simple text file, with one line of dialogue text per line. For this to work, you must first click on a voice in the main app, to assign the lines to. To start the batch synthesis process, drag your CSV data file into the drop zone. Once the data has been checked for validity, you will see the data listed out in rows. The app will reorder the rows to group voices together to reduce model switching time. To kick off the batch synthesis, make sure the output directory is OK and click the Synthesize Batch button. A progress bar will now indicate how far along the app is in creating the voices. The status will change in the data rows to indicate which lines are done. I recommend using GPU mode because this will allow you to generate several lines in parallel by changing the batch size here. Keep an eye on the VRAM used in the task manager to see how high you can push it for your GPU. There is also a progress indicator on the app icon so you can minimize the app while it's doing its thing. You can pause and resume the process at any time by clicking the provided buttons. When the process is finished, you can safely clear the workspace or open the output directory where the audio lines are. I've included a Google Drive link with a CSV file to recreate the voice lines from this video in the description below. Load this into the app to generate the lines you've heard in this video once you download the voices. Check the Nexus pages for new voices and updates or join the Discord server.